What is up everybody, Center Cut Golf coming at you. Today, we're gonna do a review video of a device that all you guys have been wanting. I've been seeing a lot of people say, where's all the reviews on this particular launch monitor? Well, I'm gonna bring it to you today. My personal honest opinion, and it's important for me to tell you this, we bought these units in no way affiliated with Unicor. We purchased both of these, purchased the Mini, and then we have a IXO2 up there as well. So you're gonna get an honest review on what I think about this pro about this launch monitor. Another thing that I'd like to mention real quick is that the Unicor iMini does come with a super freaking cool carrying case to make it portable. Uh, super good quality. So that's a cool added bonus for this unit. One thing to note about the iMini right off the bat is once you get it all set up through their software, it has no option of wiring it direct. So you have to have some kind of a way. We have a Wi-Fi dongle of creating two Wi-Fi signals. We're using a gaming laptop. So Wi-Fi 1 is connected to our internet and Wi-Fi 2 is connected to the iMini. And that's how we're operating this. It is the only option when it comes to this unit. You have to connect wirelessly once it's set up. Now with that being said, that's one thing right off the bat that I'm gonna tell you right now I don't really like is that it has to be set up wirelessly. I don't like that there's not an option that you can't direct connect this to the computer like you do when you set it up. Um, I think it would help with the delay on the system a little bit, but you'll see in here in a little bit on how this thing operates. All right, first thing we're gonna do once we get connected is we're gonna open up Unicor software. When you purchase the unit, you will receive three licenses, one for third-party software, one for the Refine, and one for the View. Uh, the Refine is a 30-day free trial, basically, and the other two, I believe, are for 90 days. But as you see right here, this is what their software looks like. We are connected to the Mini, and then we have our three that we started. We're going to start with the Refine and see what that looks like. Actually, we're going to go View to start with because that is the... Uh, actual software that comes with this unit so we're going to launch view first from here you're going to create your own account we have one for the studio basically and then we have another one here click start pretty simple to operate and you'll see here in a second what it looks like when it pops up so this is what the view software looks like you're going to choose your car club we're going to select an iron for now it'll also keep track of pretty much every single shot hit on that and that's what it looks like we're going to turn around and show you what it looks like on the projector it might be hard to see because the iso on my camera is up pretty high right now this is our studio paula right here when you put the ball in the zone It's going to light up and lock on. Currently it's out of the zone. You're going to get a pretty good representation of how kind of big this, this hitting area is. We'll zoom out just a tad. Right there it's locked on. This is almost center. You're going to come to and come back. That is right at the back of the zone. And that is right up, actually that's just outside the front of the zone. So essentially, hopefully you're able to see this on camera, but the ball is moving around. We're gonna hit a ball real quick. I'm gonna show you kind of what this unit does. There's something about this unit that Unicor does that's super cool, and we're about to show you. We just got an eight iron here. Pretty solidly struck first shot. So one thing we're gonna talk about real quick that I haven't mentioned yet, I don't have any stickers on this. The unit does come with stickers that you can place on there and it will unlock a little more club data. 
but let's run to the computer and I'm going to show you what, what all without the stickers gets. Okay, so for my first swing of the day, that was actually a pretty dang good strike. We got 170 carry, 178 total, smash factor 146 with an 8 iron is pretty solid. Um, you got your ball speed, club, backspin, but what really sets these units apart is you can come over here to club and you're going to be able to see that video. You're going to be able to play it and see that strike almost perfect. And then you can come up here, click on photo, and you get a photo of the ball impact, which is what really sets this unit apart. Like I said, you got to put stickers on here to unlock everything, but for the most part, you get pretty good data without even having those. And this is what these sti the stickers look like. You'll put them on the toe of the club and be able to unlock even more. All right, so we're back to the main Unicore screen, which is, like I said, you're gonna be able to see all your devices you currently have, all your licenses. We're not gonna click on that right now. But now we're gonna go into the Refine software, which is Unicore's golf software, and show you what this looks like. All right, so we're at the main page. Um, you got stroke play, driving range, challenge, course practice, short game complex, and a quick mode. To, uh, so stroke play is they have their version. They got probably five golf courses on here. You can add a player, we'll just call it guest. And they have Bay Hill, Moon Bay, Seoul, South Village, Two Rivers. We'll go ahead and launch the golf course just to show you what the golf course graphics look like real quick. We'll go ahead and just do Bay Hill. And we're just going to play start. We're just going to hit start. All right, so this is kind of what the graphics look like on Refine, um, their golf software. I'll take another 8-iron just hit a ball real quick and show you what, what all happens. When it locks on the ball, it will, right there it said waiting, that's gone, so that means you're good to go to hit a ball. Another pretty well struck 8 iron. And it will flash up, uh, should flash up your contact, just like that. So after every swing, when you're using their software, it flashes that video, which is also super cool. So I got the ISO turned down real quick so you can kind of see what the graphics look like. Their graphics are definitely a little cartoony, but it is still what I would consider usable. And we do have a lot of customers that come in that are members and like playing on this as opposed to GS Pro, just because it flashes the club data up there for you. So I've kind of showed you what the golf looks like. It's, uh, like I said, usable, not GS Pro graphics wise, but definitely still usable. We're gonna do something else here. All right, so their software allows you to go to a driving range. There's actually a few different ranges you can choose from. Three to be exact, there's a lake, a peak range, and then just your standard driving range complex, which is pretty cool. So you get a different scenery every time you're on the range. And it will also flash all the club data as well. We'll click on challenges real quick. You got daily, or uh, I forget what these are. Challenge, day view, score points. It's a, it's essentially they got a big target in the lay in water that you're trying to hit balls onto, which is kind of fun. People enjoy that. And then they have a night view as well. And I'm not sure what this coming soon is. I guess we're gonna find out. It also has a short game complex where you can set up the ability to do uh, practice mode, an evaluation, and a competition where you can compete against friends, whatever other people that have Unicore software, which is pretty fun. It has uh, chipping and putting on there, so you can work on your game, which is pretty cool. Graphics are kind of on the lower end, but it, like I said, still usable. And then of course, up at the top, there's course practice, where you can go on the course and practice some of your uh, game while you're out there. Um, quick mode 
It allows you to work on individual things on your game, like if you're trying to correct a hook, a slice, if you're trying to gain distance, really trying to work on wedge shots, short game putting. It has an exercise in there, which is really neat, and it's built into the software where you can continuously work on your game, game as well. One really cool thing about the Unicore is that it it does have a third-party software connection. We use GS Pro in here just because we feel like that's the best uh, operating software as far as golf simulation, which is what our business is basically built off of. Um, and it, it integrates with it. It is a fee, I believe. You have to pay the $199 subscription in order to get the third-party connection, which is kind of so-so. It's not too expensive, but uh, you're definitely going to want to get that. And GS Pro is constantly improving their stuff. And I believe I heard that they're going to incorporate the club video data, which Unicore is the only one that does that. So the GS Pro screen is launched. We're going to go just for the fun of it. We're going to go very high and we're going to launch it. So it's just like you're going in the GS Pro for any other system, except the difference is it's going to pop up unicorns, which it's not actually going to flash green right here. But as you can see, it is green and, and connected currently. And just like you would anything else, you can go in, go to the driving range, and it's ready to go. Now I'm going to hit a shot and let you see kind of what the delay is on this. This is GS Pro software. I'm pretty much going to throw this up here just so you can kind of see uh, what kind of delays we're working with on this. But we're going to go ahead and hit one more 8-iron. It will beep and allow you to know when it is locked on. So when you hear that beep, it is ready to go. Another decently struck 8-iron, although this one is curving a little bit. So one thing I've noticed, and this is actually a great example of what this is, um, so here on the GS Pro, you, s you can see up here in the corner, it says 169 carry, but we're going to look at the machine real quick. I've noticed that the numbers on GS Pro are not matching up all the time to what is on the unit. I'm not really sure of why that is. I don't know if it has to do with the elevation. Maybe I have the unit set to what our elevation is here in Texas and GS Pro set to zero and that's why it's different. I'm assuming that's probably what it is. Just kind of be aware that your numbers on GS Pro are not always going to match what the unit says. And that's something I guess I got to figure out why it doesn't. So we have actually had this unit essentially when it released, we did we purchased it right at on basically the release date of it we purchased the ix02 and the mini at the same time they both came together um, so what are my thoughts on this unit after having it for essentially almost a month now first thing i'm going to say is i'm going to commend them on a it's a pretty good floor mounted unit um, we switched from radar to camera base just for the fact that we were having a lot of missed shots indoors and uh, we tried to get away from that. And I absolutely love the angle that this unit gives you as far as the club path and the club video because it can show you if your toe's up or down. And I think that's hu hugely beneficial for shops like ours because we can come in and adjust your clubs if they need to be adjusted and help get you hitting that ball a little bit straighter. As far as reliability on actually reading shots, as long as your ball is not touching any part of the, the hitting zone or on the line, because it will, if you're touching it, but you're inside, it will still say it's ready. As long as you're not touching that line, it's pretty much going to read that shot. It's a super reliable when it comes to that part of the unit. It's more than likely going to read the shot, no matter how hard you're swinging. Now, a few things that I'm going to say about the unit, like I said earlier, I don't like that there's no way to actually direct connect this to your PC that you're running. It is only wireless once you set it up. Um, that is one thing I definitely don't like. And I don't know if it's been our computer, but we have a pretty solid gaming computer. It's about a 3000 a little over $3,000 setup. It's about as good as you're going to get in a laptop for a gaming computer. We have had 
a ton of connection issues with this unit as far as it'll randomly drop off and it will just won't connect and won't show up in the system and it happens randomly there's no way to see why it's doing that but it is kind of frustrating with that unit as opposed to the ix02 works absolutely flawless there has been a few times that it's crashed our computer randomly and it's only when we're in the refined software and i have no idea if that's just bugs in their software um, like I said, the IX02 has worked flawless. We've not had one problem with that, but with this Mini, it happens quite often. Now, being that it is a floor-mounted unit, you don't need a lot of space to use it. So if you need a unit that takes up little space and you, you just don't have the space for other units, it's absolutely perfect for that. Battery life on this unit is actually really good. We've had it sitting in here for probably six seven hours running and still was able to run so the battery is pretty solid on this unit if that's something that you're looking at as well overall looks and durability of the unit is pretty good it, it looks good sitting there um, people that come in think it looks really cool with how it lights up on the front and just the presence of it having there now keep in mind if you have a business the reason we have an ix02 min or two is because if you have right or lefties, you are gonna have to move the unit back and forth. But if it's just one person, it's not that big of a deal. So what are my overall thoughts on this unit as a essentially a $4,500 purchase? Um, then you have to add on a little bit of software. Would I purchase this unit again? Honestly, probably not. I wouldn't purchase it again. We would uh, just go with the IXO. Now, if you need to have a floor, mun floor unit, it's gonna serve its purpose. It's a great unit for that. But just with the overall uh, connection issues that we've been having, that's the only reason why I would not purchase it. I would, I would imagine it's probably gonna get better as time goes, as this unit gets more and more age to it. Um, it's still a brand new unit. It's still brand new software for it. So we're, we're hanging in there. We'll see how it goes moving forward. As far as the connection issues go, I haven't tested it on our, we actually have a gaming PC set up with the ix 2 instead of a laptop. Um, we haven't tested it on that to see if that's part of the connection issues. Um, but it has, like I said, it's, it's been kind of frustrating. Talking with their customer service has been kind of frustrating. You can't actually talk to somebody, they have to schedule a time to talk to you and that is kind of super annoying when it comes to Unicor. Um, hopefully that changes as they get bigger and these units get more and more out there. Hopefully they give you the option to be able to actually call in and see what's going on with your unit if you're having issues. Overall, for the price, I don't think it's a terribly bad unit. I think it's a decent unit for the price. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to serve you a lot better than, say, what Amiibo would do. I think it's a little bit better than the Amiibo as far as reads go. It's more consistent on actually giving reads. Um, and their software is kind of cool. It does lack a little bit on the actual graphics side of it but i feel like they're probably going to work on that and keep making it better and better as as time goes on with this unit so hopefully i was able to uh teach you something about the unit it's been fun having it so far so one thing that i also forgot to mention and is super important with this system and one of the reasons why we went with unicore as well is the putting works outstanding it will read every single attempt at a putt and it's super consistent and people have really enjoyed being able to putt on the simulator. Um, it just adds that little extra golf factor to it. So putting A plus on this unit and just that alone is a good reason to get this unit over say the FlightScope Vivo Plus. Not even close to comparison. So I hope this video has uh, helped you out in your decision in getting this unit. Overall, it is a really good unit and we, we're gonna get the connection issues figured out and figure out why it's doing that. Outside of that, it's super reliable and well worth the money, in my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this answers some of your questions on what you guys have with the unit and we'll catch you on the next one. Maybe we'll do the uh, IX02 next.